Laugh me a laugh, grin me a grin And then I know that we can win Dance me a dance, joke me a joke And blow the clouds away You gotta sing me a song Sing me a song And we can help push life along Come on, Just mate. you and me, come on and see Together we'll be okay the Words are right there Open the door, open your heart And then we've got somewhere to start Just turn around, look what we found Today's a brand new day Today's a brand new day You gotta run with me now I'll show you how The world is waiting, take a bow Show them it's you, what you can do Together we two can win Take it Eli Rock on Tommy, dance to a tune that this guitar sings. Almost. Rock on Tommy, you can't just get up and spread your wings. Your spread fanny your wings. wings. <laughs> just flew into the sun. And we, we can smile at everyone. everyone. You've got to join in with me. And then we are free. It isn't hard to do. I said this that is life the is a song. Yeah. So just da -da -da -da. sing along. Goes on like and this. You can know we can go wrong. Is this Just you with me. Come on and see. Together, Together we'll be okay. Together we'll be okay. Together we'll be okay. Together we'll be okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cheap Show 200. Mr. Biffo, run the entry sequence. No credits. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> well, what is it? Blue that one, the second water. one. <laughs> this one. Are you too loud? Oh, oh no. no. That's no, it. Don't know. I've got a job I I hate you and your fucking noodle posse. Cheap show. Off brand brand, off, off brand brand, off. Cheap, 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 cheap. Cheap show. It's the price of shite. Paul Gannon. Eli Silverman. Welcome to Cheap Show. And I go and I nuzzle. Are we on? We're on. on. Hello, welcome to Cheap Show 200, recorded Hello, live everyone. on Twitch on the 9th of October, 2020, Friday. Hello, Mr. Silverman. It's 20 o'clock. It's 20 o'clock. It's 20 o'clock, that's what you wanted to say. It's 20 o'clock. Tinkety tonk. He's been drinking, everyone's been drinking. It's a, <coughs> it's a party time. We're having a party, and you're invited yes. to episode two hundred. How, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Yeah. Now, now, when we start, now you're interested in me. You were just, you <laughs> were saying, I'm never no, interested in you. You were saying, just, you were like, I don't give a shit about how you look. That's <laughs> what you were saying. Yeah, that's fair that's enough. I said five that five minutes ago. Well, I'm not right. going to fucking take it from you. All oh, right. I'm not going to do. Well, I'm not great at small talk at the best of times. Considering your size, I find that quite amusing. Fuck you have me. small talk. I see you're going to go with the cannonball level of uh, jokes for the whole of tonight. Yeah? Rock on, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off, Gannon. Ah, oh, suck a big dick. Right, so w welcome to the show. It's a packed show and... Uh, Behind the doors. No, behind the computer. <laughs> behind the computer. <laughs> the camera. Is Mr. Biffo. Shout hello. I did not say. Don't hello. do that. <laughs> hello. 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 Oh, we've hello. got a packed hello. show for you today. We so Someone's calling you. That's not very professional, is it? It's Ash. Oh. What uh, did you tell him? I told him. Well, what I did just... you tell him? Hang did on. You... Shh, shh, shh. Hang on. Hello? Hello? What do you want? Well, I've been watching the show. Yeah. I, um, We've only been doing two minutes of it. Only doing... Yeah, you said everyone's invited. Yeah. Um, uh, it just felt a bit like, you know, I hadn't been. I saw at the beginning as well, it said not 
Ash featuring Ash Frith. I saw that. Yeah. But that's because you didn't want to be on it. I did, what do you mean I didn't want to be on it? Well, he's you, peddling his lies again, Eli. Well, that's what he said to me, Ash. And that's all I'm saying. He, he said that you were very uninterested in being on. That's all. That's poppycock, mate. Right, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, um, look, we just we knew with the lockdown and the virus and you're yeah. travelling, we just didn't no, want... Yeah, it's difficult. I guess Biffo couldn't make it. Yeah, but he's nearby and we needed his camera. Yeah, well, maybe maybe we're all nearby. Anyway, you know... Just well, just look, mate, maybe next time. <coughs> you know, yeah, like maybe episode 250? Maybe next time. You always maybe next time, isn't it? Always yeah. maybe next time. Well, he's meant to be doing mate, the reception's not great in here, so... Oh, he's gone. He's meant to be doing something funny or something. That didn't sound funny. It didn't. What was he doing? It doesn't matter. He's not involved in the show. Anyway, but that fucking song and now this. I'm. I'm Look, just not in the mood, Paul. You're, you're never in the you're, mood. You're what fucking... makes you in the mood? I've got to flowers. Clothes. Flowers make you in the mood. Move what kind something. of flowers? Mood for something. Orchids. Orchids. <laughs> what do orchids do to you? Stink of. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Did I'm you not say Bob? <laughs> say no, it. No, Now's no, the time. Was... I like flowers that smell of cum. I was going to say vag. Vag? Yes. You were going to say they smell of vag? Some flowers do. Some, <laughs> well, name me a bunch of flowers that smell of vag. The, the London vag hedge. <laughs> the, lo- the London vag hedge. You know, you've been walking along in London. <laughs> Have I? fucking hell. Look Reeks at that vag hedge. <laughs> what does, it, what does <laughs> a vag hedge look like? A vag. Just green, a nondescript sort of white small flowers. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Do you know what he's talking about? Have you seen a vag hedge? <laughs> <laughs> have you? We'd love to know. What's uh, coming up on the show right, then? Paul? Coming up on the show today, we have a very special price of shite. Oh! Because uh, Mr. Mr. Stuart Ashen has sent us a bespoke price of shite himself, and you'll be getting his items. Well, not me. You and Mr. Biffo will be. Okay. Good. So it'll be head to head. It's I'm exciting. Hope, hoping to get more than one between. Uh, also, what else? Oh. Um, We've got actually this is exclusive. We've got an exclusive clip from Ashens and the Polybius heist. Sorry, Paul <laughs> 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 oh, still hasn't got an omen not I've being got cast this in, in my head. Got this tickle in the throat. You've still, won't go. Uh, yeah, you've got a little uh, pain in the neck about that one, haven't you? So we have a little. We have that an exclusive. Well, Freudian is what I'm trying to say. Everyone. We have a little clip. He of, choked. Uh, Paul choked on that very word. Very exclusive. <laughs> Polybius heist clip coming up. I stop drinking. Stop it's not the drinking, it's the tickle in my throat. That Stop trying make... to drink and talk at the same time is what I'm I didn't, saying. Did you see me drinking and talking at the same time? Right, we've got that. We've got that. Uh, we've got uh, Gammon's Golden Games. That's exciting. We're going to be playing a game Ooh. that uh, Stuart Ashens played a few years, uh, well, months ago. A year ago? A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got new jelly beans. Oh, new ones. Now, do you know Double Dares? Double got Dares whole... are the... Yeah, the, 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 the range of jelly beans. Some are nasty tasting, some are nice. <sighs> and they come in pairs, if anyone doesn't know. And I come in pairs. We've t- or bananas. Or, um, fr- or grapefruit. I'll come in anything. I like to get a melon unripe. And? Drill a hole. <laughs> <laughs> then? I, t- I do a sort of... <laughs> do this thing yeah. where I just... It's a dip. It's more of a dip than a sort of, you know, thrust. It's like a, like, so it's not like a thrust. It's, it's a run of, and dip. A you run, I run over, plunge, plunge. then <laughs> run over. It's in motion. Yeah. It has to be in motion. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's melon plunging, I call it. Cool. Well, then we'll all be doing it next year. Yeah. Melon plunging. If you get it nice and icy, you can plunge. Do some plunge behind the vag hedge. <laughs> Uh, so we got the Gannon's Golden Games. Gannon's Golden Games. Bean Boozled, isn't it, is the original. Bean Boozled was the original jelly bean that yeah. came with nasty flavours. And I think at the time it was pretty unique and pretty... Um, I think so. I think they pretty new. That. I don't think I've never heard of something designed to taste nasty no. in the confectionery world before that. No, had you? no not had really. You? No, well, maybe Fireball, Gobstopper. No, but that was, that's, hot, that's hot. That's spicy. That's like, yeah, it could be painful. What about but not actually taste of shit. What about Cadbury's Spudge Fudge? <laughs> <laughs> Which is filled with a very soft centre. Some would say too soft. Are you trying to imply... Some would say come. Oh, you're trying to imply that Mr Cadbury... <laughs> Josh is up into fudge bars. And then that's... He sold them, didn't a he? A finger of fudge is just enough to fill your mouth with spunk. It's full of spunky goodness. I'm, you won't know I where am. to spunk. Spunk, 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 spunk. He spunk the bunk. 
Uh, Inspector, can yeah. you let me off at the next station, please? I'm getting off this spunk train. <laughs> There's no getting off the spunk train. Once the spunk train leaves the station, you're on the spunk train. <laughs> I'm going to have to take over, Paul, because right. you are losing your Well, your you voice. can take over because these two segments that we start with are yours. Right. So, uh, yeah, um, you wanted to do a long, we haven't done it in a while, uh, an Eli's top three. Have you got a top oh, three? Oh, no, I forgot about that. I could do... Um... <laughs> Here's the conversation I had, Mr. Boys and Girls, with... <laughs> Mr. Boys and Mr. Girls. Boys and Girls. Mr. or Mrs. Boys and Girls. Um, before the show, weeks ago, what should we do in this episode, Eli? How about this? Oh, we haven't done that in a while. Oh, you love doing a top three. Yeah, that's right. I love it. I tell you what, I'll just knock it up on a day. It doesn't really matter because I'm a genius. I've got one. See what I mean? Here I've we go. Got one. You ready for my top three? Yeah. It, it probably also, I want to inter- interrupt by saying the mics you see are recording for the podcast. And the Yeti down there is what the Twitch streamers will see. Mm. So that's why there would be a disparity between the audio. Disparity. I don't care if you've got a problem. <laughs> There's just such a disparity. <laughs> what, what, what was I meant to say? Discrepancy. Discrepancy. There's a disparate discrepancy. <laughs> right, sorry, Paul. Between right. the sound sources. So I hope that suffices so you don't have to leave a comment in the YouTube segments weeks later. Let's say... Why have they got mics on, but the sound shit? Oh, God, I don't care. Yeah, but Paul, they're not that person making that comment isn't isn't hearing you right now. True. I'm they're speaking not. to them in the future when they watch this, if they watch this on YouTube. They'll have still a little put paddy the, on. They'll put the comment anyway. They will. It's what they do. They wake up in the don't, morning. Don't drink anymore. How's I'm your drinking. voice? How's your voice? It's better now. I feel much more fresh. So top, you've got a top three. three. Yes, Paul. Top three. I'm going to give you my top three hot sauces. Give me camera two, Mr. Biffo. I want to look good on camera. My top three hot yeah, sauces. I can just see my hair when I do things. Yeah, but not when you put it on camera two. That I'm in camera two, aren't I? Well, That's good. Is it me? Good. Talk about top three. Top three hot sauces. Yeah, go on. In third place. Haven't you done top sauces? Haven't you done you know hot sauces? No, I've got. I need a visual aid for this, Paul. What, like? You need a visual aid for hot sauces. Have you just brought hot sauce and now you're going to work it into the show? More than that, Paul. Oh, what's this, ladies and gentlemen? A genuine piece of spontaneous. I've got the whole sauce trough, mate. He's brought the uh, sauce trough to the studio. Here we go. Now, when was the last time the sauce trough uh, left? I'll do that again, Eli. Go back to camera two. Up, 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 up. 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 There we go. There we go. Right, good. When was the last time any sauce has left the House of Pickles? It must be years now. What do you mean? They never leave the... Once they add to the trough, they never leave, do no, they? I, they go down in my tummy when I eat them on foods. What oh, are you talking about? not just raw sauce in your tummy. Now, I've got a lot of interesting items in here, Paul. A right. lot of interesting items. Yeah. So, you know, it's a working sauce trough, of Pick course. three, because so I'm already fucking bored of this. It's a, I'm not picking three. You I'm, just said top, this is the top three segment. No, this isn't my top three. This is just a little digression about the sauce trough, which people are fucking interested in. And stop trying to sh- shut it down. You shut down anything in this show which has any kind of joy to it. With your mouth garbage. You impotent cunt. This there you fucking sound there's a disparity between my <laughs> dick and your fucking lips, mate. Right. <laughs> what does that mean? Does that mean that you can't put it on my lips? Or that they're not they're not able? I don't know. No I didn't coin available. the word disparity. Did I? It's a brave new world out there, Paul, and you're going to have to tell me what disparity means. This is an unusual one. Yeah. This is a Heinz, but it's a barbecue sauce, Paul. <laughs> God, this is what this podcast in, is now. In a sachet. You, sh- you wiggle sachets of sauce at that's me, a, yeah, that's and a I sachet. die inside. It's a working sauce trough, as I was trying to say. So I've got sauces which will, which will, you know, I can use day to day. Quotidian What's a good day to day sauce? What's a at a pinch sauce? Well, that's good. Got a nice standard brown. Cafe brown. Minor. Standard brown. Standard brown. <laughs> oh, look. A McDonald's and Heinz crossover. That. I like the idea of that. I haven't had one of those. McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's, this one's a McDonald's and Heinz crossover. Let's have a look. I've never seen such a thing, it's apart from m- every time I go to fucking McDonald's. No, that is quite unusual. Oh, no, these are unusual. My tapita. Tapatio. Were they the ones I got you from America? No. Didn't I get you from America? They're not When here. I went to America. 
Anyway, my top three sources. In Here third we go. Plate, hot sauces. Da, 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 da. In third place, Sriracha. In second place, could you not? Come on. Come on, what? Sriracha. I will not have sauces degraded with your nonsense. Come on. In third place, Sriracha. Sriracha. Good, Got anything to fucking say about that? I like Sriracha. It was, it was a sauce that threw me because initially I thought, oh, sriracha coming at you. <laughs> I thought, it, oh, it's a, it's, it's a tomato based thing, but it's not, is it? It's a lot tomato. of people think it has tomato and it, it doesn't. doesn't. It has chili, sugar, and, and garlic. Yeah, so that's it's a garlicky sauce and not as uh, old school as people think. I think right. It was uh, popularized quite recently. Uh, and in second place, second place, Encona. Encona, now what's lovely, that? It's a Jamaican style. They have it has, types it has though, a right? Bri- yes, but I'm talking about classic Encona, okay. which is a habanero hot sauce, and it's a classic on a fried egg. Splash some on a fried egg. Hello, Sunday. Hey. Hello, Sunday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hey. right. Yeah. You know, uh, it's great. And you know what is great about Encona, which a lot of these sort of fly-by-night, oh, we've done a stupid hot sauce and it's got a skull on it. Yeah, and, and it's, it's called stupid. Zombie Death And it's fucking 90% hell. fucking pulped carrot. Or These cum. guys, they can't get the uh, consistency. But there's a bit of xanthan gum, I think, in Encona. And it, it, it's just a great consistency on the sauce. You can spread it, drip it, drizzle it, do what you like with it. It's not watery and it has got carrot in. And... In first place, Paul, yeah. my top hot sauce has to be, I know I'm... It's celebration time. It would have to be uh, Tabasco. Tabasco. It's great. It, you just can't beat Tabasco. And again, I'm not talking about the varieties you have now. Some of those are great, especially the, the ultra hot one. But I'm talking about standard Tabasco. I'm just showing off the t-shirt. Got anything to say about my top three? I'm showing off I the had t-shirts. top three. I just did a top three. Get your t-shirt You're... from the merch store, which you can do. Paul. For a Tony's art, you remember when we used to do top three? Yeah, when we used to do top three, yeah, yeah. you then you'd have to do your top three. Oh, afterwards. my top three hot sauces, yes, right. Here we go. HP, now you're saying to yourself, that's not hot sauce. What number is it? Three, okay, HP, but it's got a spice, it's a spice sauce, it's not, it's and tangy, it, it's tangy, but I when well, tangy is not a term which means anything, and I don't want tangy said around the sauces in this show anymore, right? And then I don't know the next two because I don't know hot sauces, hot sauce, Barry, B- Barry Bibbs hot sauce, which is a uh, you it's, cunt, it's, it's Barry Bibbs is a you really good hot sauce maker, and he has a it's called the Chicago, Chicago Fire Flower. Uh, it's called the Chicago Fire No, that's flower. the name of the chili he uses to make oh, it. Oh, that's what that's. Good that's one, number yeah. two. Yeah. You, you haven't heard of that because I guess you're out of, you're not cool. But I've got uh, my own trough. Have you, it's just going to be you drinking beer and burping for the and rest then of the show. Probably coming on you <laughs> at some point. What's in the bag? What's in the bag, Mag? Oh, Brandy. Hey, you get going. You want to get going? going to get real. You hey. want to get fucking going with me? It's party time. You're it's two hundred. You're giving me the fucking needle. No. Uh, and then number one hot sauce, it's called, uh, what's it called? It's called, fo- it's called Fox Piss. Fox Piss hot sauce, right? <laughs> and it's interesting. It's made with just boring old normal chilli. It's nothing too special, spicy enough. But they do put Fox Piss in, which gives it a kick and gives it an almost hallucinogenic quality. Uh, you put it on a corn on the cob, you put it on a potato, you put it on an egg. Oh, it's sweet deals. So there you go, fox piss hot sauce. <laughs> can I put it on a blue mushroom? You can put it on a blue waffle, mate, if you want. Great, next segment is Eli <laughs> Silverman's platters. <laughs> hey! And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, coming up in the show, uh, we're the, coming up in the show, we've got an exclusive clip from Ashington, the Polybius Hike. Stay tuned for that. Good at this. I feel like I'm on the telly. <laughs> That's why you did this, isn't it? Yeah. Just so you could feel That's like you're on the telly. Focus, it's fine. What are they going to see? What are they going to see? Yeah. They ruined it. He ruined it because of his sauce trough ruined the focus. That's what you're... That's, that's literally what you do. You ruin the focus of things. Are you you're ready? You're a focus fucker. Are you ready to What's come the plan? on a journey of sound with me? Are we going on a... So, we're doing Silverman's Platter, the part of the show we go through charity shops and such and such, to find interesting vinyl that we can play and discuss. Now, we've done this before on Twitch, but you wanted to do it again because you lack imagination. So, what is it? 
I'm taking you on a journey through sound. Right. Let well, me fix this microphone. Mic Let me do that. Here. here we go. Let's all do the conga. The, 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 the conga. Na, 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 na. I'll just turn that off for a sec while I do stop it. We're going to start with some sounds of outer space, Paul. So I want you to imagine you're, a, you're an embryonic space baby uh, floating through, th through outer space with right. a big, big, big thumb in your mouth. Wait, I, t I zoned out of that completely. I'm a baby in space with my tongue out. Yes. Right. And there are some ethereal space noises. So do I, do I, are you transporting me somewhere? Do I close my eyes? Yes. Oh, I'm going to close my eyes then. Right, transport me. Oh, that's a music box. Move that over a bit as well. It's hard. There's no track listing on this one. So what am I looking at? You're looking at the vastness of interstellar space. Oh, here we go. Here come the noises. Right, got the noises. Here we go. Is that as loud as it goes? Turn it up. That's as loud as... Right, it's like clangers. <laughs> what am I doing? <coughs> am, I, am I having sex with a clanger? No, you are an embryonic, miasmic uh, baby child. I'm fucking the soup dragon. <laughs> oh, soup dragon. You're naughty. Oh, soup dragon. Oh, oh, I didn't know you like your balls tickled, soup dragon. <laughs> Oh, Soup Dragon! Oh, fuck off! You ruin everything! Oh, look at this button. You're not. I'm guiding you! The Soup Dragon flies off! Very right, disappointed with your sexual performance. Alright, okay. And you're a, you're a baby again. Alright, I'm a baby again. You're an embryonic baby. Oh. Oh. But never mind. Here comes a, com a like, computer. Side so, so part of this conversation. <laughs> this segment's awful. Carry on. Fuck your sidebar. Take a sidebar and ram it up. Yeah. I put your sidebar horizontally. Oh, now. Now right, a, a spaceship approaches. Right, a spaceship approaches. Oh. Does he approach soon? <laughs> it's taking forever. <laughs> no, here oh, he comes. Is he still approaching? He's or talking to you. Is he talk the He's talking? He's talking to you in to some me. strange voice. So am I, what, in a field? I've seen No, you're boat. still in outer space. All right, I'm floating in outer space. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving now. Here he Oh. 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 Right. Here he comes. What, He's what is this bizarre language? That the. <laughs> that the <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm in space church. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, isn't it? But he's talking to you. He's trying to communicate with you by using tones. Right, like third encounters of the first kind. <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> What's he saying to you, Paul? Third encounters of the close kind. That's the wrong bit. Sir. Yeah, no shit is it the wrong bit. Here we go. 25 minutes and we've done nothing. Here we go. Right. Now right. he's transporting you. Oh, I'm going through a time vortex. You didn't pick up on the language of this of the computer shit. Yeah, but I'm in going fact, through a he's, vortex. It, you, he's, he's sending you to Earth because oh. you've got an important mission. I like in it. In Earth, yeah? Oh, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Oh. And it's big news. You're big news on Earth, space I'm, baby. I'm going when you arrive, you're big news. for the void. Your big news, and they'll talk about you on the news. Oh, I'm, I'm out into dark space. They'll talk. With a wobble. No, you're going to Earth. Am I? I'm yeah. going to Earth. I'm coming down to Earth, boys and girls. Oh, I'm coming down to go. Earth. There you go. Oh, I've there landed on the planet Earth. And there's news. There's a news thing about you. There's a news story about yes. me. Yes, here we go. I'm a space the baby. The news program's about to start. I can't believe me luck. I'm a space what? baby on the news. Good morning. Oh. Space Baby Gannon has landed. Rejoice! Yeah. And then... What am I doing? <laughs> oh. Space Baby Gannon! <laughs> Is that it? Right, no, good. that's not it. Now you're going to go on holiday. Oh, you've had a, on holiday now, am I? You've had a very tiring journey. Right, good, because this is very tiring <laughs> segment. <laughs> you've oh. had a very... <laughs> Here you are, you're getting I'm down, Space Baby. I'm going to the planet. I'm going to the speech. I'm going to Margate. I'm going to Margate. I'm here seeing myself yes. here in Margate. You're going to Margate. Space Margate. Here we go. Oh. You can have a lovely ice cream when you get there. Oh, it's exciting. It's the, I've never heard Margate sound so fantastic. <laughs> right. Now, you're almost there. Right, I'm in Margate now. Chaz and Dave are singing about Margate on the piano. Na -na 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 -na. The Margate. They're doing that. And there's yeah. a chicken yeah. machine that lays eggs that gives you a toy. 
Bark, bark, now you're going down by the beach. Bark, 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 bark. You're down by the beach. I'm on the beach, right. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's nice this on the beach. No, I'm <laughs> There's a tree on the beach. There's, there's a tree on the beach that's fucking my face, right. There's a sentient tree. Well, you're only, you're only you've grown up now. Right. Right. Look, what do you mean I'm grown up now? Look, you're by the sea. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the end of Silverman's Platters. What the fuck up? Oh. So floppy. <laughs> God almighty. Right. Is that end of Silverman's Platter? Yeah. What's next on the script? I thought that right. was a very successful segment right. of the show, yeah. I Good. have to say. All right, cool. We've done. Sorted. Silverman's Platter. Sorted. What's next on the show? Right, we're going to do... <sighs> Is that him again? Just turn your phone Ash off. again. Hang on. Turn Hang your on. phone off. Hang Don't. On. I'm I mean... going to get it in a sec. Hang on. I've got all this shit. I think he wanted to do more like fanfic stuff. Didn't he want to do some of that? What do you want? I'm just sick of being left out, really. Well, you never commit. Like... We've offered you in the past to come over, and you always let us out at the last minute. All he does oh, is well, yeah, you just yeah, do yeah, stuff yeah, about yeah. us burning. Phone, remember? Gave you my new number. Never used it. Never so used does it. Doesn't matter. Look, WhatsApp. mate. We just, we just. This was last minute, and we just couldn't get you in the show. Last minute. Last minute, I heard about this months ago. I was on episode 100, do you remember? Yes, yeah. and 150. And 150. Where you had a Everyone beef with Biffo as well. And Biffo yeah. was upset by it, so it was either Biffo or you. Made your choice there, haven't you? Um, well, but don't worry, I'm on my way. I'm on my way down. I what? Totally no, don't come down. There's no That's point. Forward. By the time you get here, we'll be done. I'm oh, much closer than you think, mate. I'll be there, don't you worry. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing the whole... Oh, fuck oh. off. Fucking hell. Sorry about that. Let me just put this back on. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Mate, he can't... He can't be on the show. I know. He can't be on the show. Did, not, don't talk to me. Did, he, how did he even get the address? I. He may have asked me. I think he asked me. Why did you day. give him the address? Because I thought he was... He said he was going to bring some... You know, for a, you know for a fact it's a bad idea. Because he doesn't get on with Biffo. I thought it was a public... I don't know. I just gave it to him. I thought he was cool. I thought you had a word with him and said that he could do a bit as long as it wasn't about no. us fucking I, each other. I, I know. I asked him. I asked him. And what? He to do a video. And, it and then a couple of days ago, he said, oh, I haven't done it yet. And I was like, well, OK, well, fair enough. But, like, we can't have you do another fucking sex tape thing again. Because actually a few people thought it was a bit too much. You know, so... The sex thing? I thought it was a bit too much. I have friends... Who, who I convinced to tune into Twitch for the very first time. And they heard that, And yeah. they were just like, fucking hell, goes on a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, no. It was 15 minutes of basically me pegging you, and... <laughs> don't I get a turn? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't get to listen to too much of it, because it put me off. Look, we're going to crack on with the show. At this point in the show, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, we're going really to get Mr Biffo just on. Have a, take a moment to... What? All right, let's, let's get Biffo <coughs> on, fuck's sake. Because we're going to do the price of shite, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on to Cheap Show 200. Why? It's Mr Biffo off the Digitizer channel. Hey! hey. Da, 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 Don't go away. Have you got that um, tool that I had earlier? What tool? The metal one. I need to open this. Hello, everyone. Oh, uh, boys and girls, it's Mr. Biffo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to open the other one of these. Oh, I've got that, yeah. Hang on. This is fun, isn't it? All the fun of the fair. You yeah, need yeah. to move that back into the middle. You I moved know. it earlier. I know, to get closer to that, that's fine. Oh, hello. Doubling up with that. Christ. That was it, wasn't it? Look, I'll hack away at this while your sources I'll have fix been disrespected. The mic. <laughs> All gets fixed in the edit. I'm going to grab this. Oh, this one opened much easier. Right, I'm going to be off camera, but that's not the end of the world. Can they hear me? What's going on, by the way? Right, so we're playing Price of Shite. You oh, yeah. are playing Price of Shite. And that's <laughs> right. So, Eli, shall we do the theme? Okay. And then he gets a say, and that's right. <coughs> do you know how this goes? No. You say, and that's right, after we do the song. That's right. Oh, fucking go, another and that's song. right. And that's do right. another fucking song. Ladies and gentlemen. It's all going to be songs. Oh, next year, it'll be, it's all going to be <laughs> It's going to be music, isn't it? Hooray for Hollywood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> no, we've got... 
He's lost going it, too mate. far now if you're showing flesh. Watch right. out, I'll be coming with, at you with my palm tree. Right. Oh, coming at you. Cleopatra. Right. Oh, oh it's the bus. fucking no. price of shite. It's the fucking That's terrible. price pull, of pull, shite. Pull, 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 Follow me, okay? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Just once I've done one go round, Matt, perhaps you can join in, because that was tuneless and harsh on everyone's ears. Yeah, I hated it. Yeah. So, just... Go on. Oh, oh it's, it's the, the fucking price of shite. <laughs> It's the fucking price of shite. No, it doesn't it's go like that. Stop. Ca- I told you to sit here doing this. Being off camera, camera for it. Yeah, Why? Stop it. that. Oh, it's the, the it's the fucking price of shite. 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 Do you know what? I've just had a moment where I just, I just forgot we were actually on camera. I just thought we were... Doing a podcast. <laughs> no, not even no. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a fucking price of shite. 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 That's right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what's the what's the pink bit at the bottom of that? It looks like a, a areola. An areola. It's well, a, I was thinking more, more more sphincter like. Yes. Areola. It's a beach bum. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Just beach bum. Clever. But an anus. Beach bum. Paul, that's stop. Like beach bum. Stop it. Oh, you don't like it. Oh, you don't like that. We oh, planned. So we didn't plan for you, you to don't molest like me. That. I, oh, I'm sorry. You don't like it's being hit in the head. I was, I was looking at the chat, and loads of people Paul said they hate you. <laughs> 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 I said they hate you in your fault. Wow. <laughs> Come on, let's play the price of fucking shite, and that's let's right. Let's do it. Right, that's, that's so, right. Stuart Ashens, the good old Stuart Ashens, he has uh, made his own bespoke price of shite. The and you will be watching his three uh, items on the video screen yes. over there. Hopefully, as I close that screen down, open another one, or do that now. Do that now. Yeah, do it now. Yes. Do so that this now. is, uh, this is our the first ever video price of shite. Are, are they going to see this? The people at home. Yeah, they will. You should be behind so. where I was. Oh Christ! Hello, here we go. Is this started. It started. Yeah. No, it's not started yet. We'll start in no. a second. I can see what it's going to be. Right. Are we going to explain to right, everyone what the, the price of shite is? Yeah, go video. on. Give them. Oh, there no. might be some people watching this. Price of shite, everybody. Is a little game we like to play on Cheap Show, where we guess the prices of things. Points in a, this game are <laughs> take the form of petwings. Um, I don't know. I'm going to leave it to Ashens because he's going to. Obviously, have his own point system. I'm assuming. No, he doesn't. The plan is, is that he's going to show you three items, right? And you'll both guess the prices. And whoever's closest wins. He gets the betwings. That's it. You'll get a big betwing for what being. What if we the get it on one. the nose? Well, then you get two, two betwings. extra betwings. Double, double yeah. betwings. So don't try and truncate so this. Closest or on the nose, two betwings. All right. Right. So <laughs> to make that clear to everyone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We guess the price. Yeah. Closest gets one betwing. Yeah. If you're in 25p of it, it gets one between. No. And just <laughs> closest. Just whoever's closest. And if it's on the nose, two betwings. Two betwings. It's, on the it's nose. simple. I like the 25p rule. Two betwings on, on, on the, the nose. nose. Yes, one between. No, I thought I get close. Whoever's closest. It's I will be counting my own betwings. What? And if I'm within 25p either side of any of these, I will consider myself to have earned a between. Maybe there should be a forfeit for the loser. I w- what? I haven't got any. I've only got the beans for eat, later. Eat that. <laughs> is it plastic? It's wax. No, it's wax. Oh, go on, eat that. I might put it in my mouth. Right. Uh, it yeah, you, do you know what you could do? I'm just going to do it anyway. You make Look. teeth out of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Come on, Look. it's a visual medium, everybody. It's not that. Big. <laughs> 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 right. It's the wacky, it's the wacky teeth. Play the fucking video. I've got to play it for both, all right? So. Here's what's going to happen. I just, why I'm going to play the video so and then you're going to play it. Why have you, you go over there, but the video's here. It's we told pri- you before we started. It's the fucking this, price of shite and this, that's right. This was, uh, that's right. This is fundamentally flawed. Remember when we started? Don't. Fuck you. What? No, you look. Fucking all. Paul Gannon has a hell, fetish for, for fat hairy men. <laughs> This is clearly Fat Mary co host. I think. Around. This is your thing, isn't it? What, well, Eli? Is this the one well, we're down to? Two well, episodes. both of us. Both of us. Oh. At once, one on either end. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Are you ready? I'm going to start the video. Yes. Here we go. And you can watch it home too. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Stuart Ashen's 
price of shite. TV. Hail to the mighty cheap show. Yes, it is I, Ashens, the internet imbecile, here to say congratulations on 200 bloody episodes. That's considerably more than 37, although it must be said less than 212. Anyway, the price of shite. So, uh, I went off to the charity shops around Norwich, which is usually, can I be honest, not the greatest time. The charity shops in Norwich tend to be quite expensive and not have good stuff in them, so I don't look in very often. But, possibly due to not many people going in due to viruses and stuff, I had some success. I have certainly got at least three items of vague interest for you. Let us begin, as is traditional, with item number one, which is actually a twofer, because I got two items for the, the one price that was paid. It is a small horse, a flocked horse, so it's soft to the touch, and it's got a crazy mane thing going on. I don't know if this is a My Little Pony or similar collectible or something, um, probably from the 80s or 90s, I would have said. Uh, it's got like a ninja mask on due to its coloration, so that's good. Um, you can go into shops and not have to wear another one. Um, yeah. All I can say about that, really. <clears throat> also, we have also flocked a little glitter bear with with magical wings. I'm assuming this actually has nothing to do with this and have just been put together by the people in the charity shop. I am not entirely sure. Or maybe it is designed to ride on the horse as its mighty steed as they go into battle against Dacron and the forces of Potato. I have no idea. I'm making it all up. Anyway, that is item number one. A small horse with articulated neck and a small bear. How much are they worth? Well, that's for you to decide. Or more to the point, you to guess at and then me tell you later. Item number two. I was really, really pleased to get this. Da, 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 da. People of a certain age are now going, oh my God, I remember those. I really wanted to get one of these because um, I had one as a child and I'm doing a video soon on pocketeers, which were like a sort of very... Um, well-designed set of pocket games, um, originally from Tomy. And to cut a long story short, uh, yeah, I really wanted this to show off as a shit version, which we got as a sort of budget one. And would you believe it, it turned up in a charity shop, decent condition, still works. Made in 1976, the year I was bloody born, by Blue Box in Singapore. It is Get Your Children Addicted to Gambling with Mini Mate Jackpot. Basically, you pull this down, Push this button, click, there we are. That's what's come up. A bluebell, a jackpot, and three lovely red flowers. Fun here, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, that's it. I don't know why I played for this so long as a child. I mean, also, a lot of the combinations you win on don't seem to make any sense. Like, you win if it is a bluebell, a purple plum, which face the opposite ways to the ones in here, that's annoying, and a yellow lemon. Why? But what, what is the theory behind any of these? I mean, these ones make sense. Two jackpots, two flowers, whatever. Three jackpots, three flowers. Then, by the time you've got to four points, it's all getting a bit kind of mysterious. Have I won? No. Have I won? No. Have I won? Yes! Because that's technically the bell, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. The Pushing the button isn't doing a lot. There. That looks better. I have won six. Six watts, I don't know. Six lashes with a wet whip, no idea whatsoever. Well, <clears throat> that's that, anyway. And now I show you the final item on brand for Mr. Gannon. It is the Ricochet re-release of Ghostbusters for the ZX Spectrum. Of course it is. Uh, without box. Just literally a loose tape. It hasn't even been rewound. Look, I haven't rewound it either. It uh, looks like it's quite near the end of side A. Oh, and somebody at some point, didn't notice that, has drawn on it with a pencil. Interesting. So I had this exact issue of this game as a kid um, and played it. I don't know if you've played the game or not. It's an odd one. You basically run your own Ghostbusters franchise and drive around the city upgrading your car every so often and then catch ghosts and ultimately have to run under the legs of a jumping marshmallow man in order to go and stop Zool. At which point the Spectrum version stops, if I recall. There's supposed to be like another scene in other versions where you go and be a bit more direct with Zool, but no, you just have to run under the marshmallow man's legs at the right time and that's it. Anyway, does it work? No idea, because these old tapes have a tendency to dry out. Uh, they have lubrication on them, and uh, 
yeah if you've ever listened to an audio one and it's just basically instead of playing your favorite tune that's what's happened to that and yeah old tapes are beginning to demagnetize as well which you can sort of get away with a bit for audio but not so much for the data so does it work probably not it's not even in a freaking case but there we are so item number one the deadly duo item number two gambling addiction for kids and item number three a dead video game what is worth what however well that's yours to guess on the price of shite yay woo i'm going now bye Are we back in the room? We're back in the room, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank so, you for that, Ashen. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart, for that video. Beautifully yeah. done. Um, so, three items. Are you ready? Now, uh, three Eli, items. you are the leader. Oh, of Christ! That was such a Jack Douglas carry on moment. We went, Whoa! Oh, well, <laughs> three items. I'm going to let you start, right? You're going to take the first guess on this. So, the okay. horse bear. The now, horse I will bear say combo. This, every item in that was less than a pound. Every single no surprise. Yeah, all three of that's making it harder though, pound. wouldn't it? All three are less than a pound, and to make it a bit more difficult, he hasn't done it in ascending order of price. Oh, so no, the second no. might be higher than the no, first. No, no, I assumed that. I'm just assume saying, that. just to get your parameters right, oh. right? Yeah. So with that in mind, how much do you think the horse bear combo was? I'm gonna have to swap the screen. Mm. Dead air. Um. Could I just say I like the Why bear? Why have you taken the picture off? Why well, want to see it? There's nothing to see. I, horse there was bear. a picture on there. Horse bear. It was a glittery horse, horse, horse a glittery bear horse with bear. wings and a horse with an articulated neck. Yeah, I think that bear looks a little bit like um, a care bear. No, <laughs> uh, Wuzzle. There's a bear well, it had the, yeah the wings. Who's Wuzzle? Uh, well, Wuzzle's bear. a part B, B though. That was part fairy. Oh uh, well, they yeah. might. Yeah. He was That's right. like, was a dead bear. Yeah, because he was an angel. <laughs> it's a dead bear that had done. It might yeah. have been a bear Cupid or a bear well, Cherub. Well, then he never lived. It might have been like a, a Cupid bear. They never. They, he was some kind of ethereal being, Fine. produced by heaven. That's he not never the price, seen. He'd never seen the lights on us. Could be a fallen care, angel. Not the price. It's a give fallen me, angel. Give yeah. me the price. Of I guys. say ninety p. Ninety p for both of them. Yeah. Yes. You, I'm mm. pulling this down. Are you committing to ninety p? I'm committing. I'm committing to ninety p. Do the lockdown. It's 90p. Lock it in. <laughs> right, good. <laughs> Mr. Biffo, what do you say? I'm going, uh, it was flocked. It was Which flocked. I like. Like a I like, flock. I, I, do you know the story about the bloke who invented flocking? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. No, what's that? Uh, what's that you story? Know, you, know, you know, Action Man had the flocked hair. He had a lovely bit of flocked hair, yeah. didn't he? The way he convinced Palatoy, yeah. he turned up in a car that was fully flocked. <laughs> he what, flocked said, his car. But and said, wouldn't this look be at great this. for Action Man's head? Yes. I mean, weird. Did his car look like Action Man's head? Yes. <laughs> All over. <laughs> that would work then. Yes. Imagine this, but on a small man. <laughs> <laughs> With eagle eyes. Right, so, so what uh, do I'm you going, think? I'm going 50p. You're going to go 50p. But I do like, I've got to say, I wavered yeah. because the bear... Its wings were of a different material to its body, and that, that layer was a sweet piece. Sweet I'm going piece. 50p. It looks sweet on my little shelf. 50p. So up I'm there. going low because next to the Smurfs, fundamentally right. shit. We're stay with you, he, could, he could nuzzle oh. a Smurf. <laughs> and anything else? You could get that bear. It's only a little bear. Yeah. Just put it right on the end right. of your knob. Yeah, right down the end. Nitus bear. Yeah. No, you wouldn't want to get something that size down your Nitus. Hey, listen. Get an infection. Well, my nephew, when yeah. he was little, uh, put a uh, needle down the end of his. Ah! Oh, oh no, he didn't. He did. Oh, and his mum had why? To pull it out. Why? Well, he was little. He's experimenting. Oh. It's fine as long as he didn't go on the sides. It would... like like staring a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> like Can you it. imagine? He got it all the, got it right down there. Oh. Wow. Had to get some tweezers. Cause it's like that. Um, you know that book by Chuck Palahniuk called uh, Ah. There's a whole segment Don't. about that where this guy finds he out uses that wax. you can use a special kind of. Pin that you can put down the meat of your penis. No, it's down wax. The he uses wax. No, what are they getting stuck? Does, he finds out that you can use a special blade How? that has a ball on the top. Uh, yes. That is down. a meter's ball. But yeah. then you're he decided to put the wax of wax. And, and then he puts wax in his cock and, and it all starts. Like hot wax. No, melted. hot dried wax. How? Then it gets hot when it goes that's in. That's very that, thin. Yeah. Yeah. That would break. Yeah, well, that's what happens in the story. It's a completely unbelievable story. And then the story continues where the guy gets his arse stuck to a. Uh, a swimming pool pump 
and then slowly pulls his in te- intestinal tract. <laughs> 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 What's this book? Intestinal tract. What's it called? <laughs> intestinal. Intestinal tract. Out of his bum off. <laughs> Anyway, it is dianetics. On that note, right? <laughs> how much of Mr. Pippo do you think? <laughs> how much do you think the jackpot game was? Jackpot game. Uh, was it's not. Nice. It's it's not a pocketeer though, is it? I don't think it's, it's a mini mate. It said on it. Yeah, it's and that pocketeer. Makes, makes me think like, oh, this is my friend. This soulless gambling game. Yeah, you know, it's weird. It's but it's of, under a pound. All of them are under a pound. If I was in that shop, if I was an old woman yeah. in a charity shop, I would have gone one pound twenty five for it. I that. would pay two pounds fifty for it. Mm. It's mean, funny in terms of what I'd pay, because I like them. Yeah. But it's on eBay and when I bought that stack of them, that was four pounds for about what, five, six of them? So Yeah, but they weren't as, as as in good condition as that. Some of them were, some of them weren't. But also they were official Tony ones, so that kind of I think bumps it up a little bit. Ah, uh, wasn't that an official Tony That's one? Does it bump it up? Yeah, because it's official Tony. Yeah, but here. we're not we're not talking dealers here. We're who talking was the manufacturer? Of that woman. Woman. <laughs> well, who manufactured that one? He didn't say. Mini Barry mate. Bibbs. <laughs> mini mate. Is it mini mate? Yeah. I've never even heard of them. I'd like if I had a mini mate. I'd like him to talk to me, not just be a. a You're my machine. mini mate. I saw mini me at a party once. Did you? Yeah, I was boy, there with Violet Berlin, and um, yeah, yeah, and she went, "Hello, mini me." <laughs> <laughs> Bet he loved that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He ignored her. Uh, right, you know, right until the, his dying day. That's all he got. All um, he remembered. Right, jackpot game. How much do you think that uh, was? I'm gonna go because one pound twenty-five. I would yeah. price it at. I'm going seventy-five p. Is that about the twenty-fives that I'm? No, that's a good. That's a good way of playing the game. Yeah. What was the third item again? We'll get to it in a minute. Was no, the, but the I cassette can't... game. The Ghostbusters cassette. Yeah. Game, right. So but that Eli, box though. Jackpot. Jackpot game. Oh, can I go seventy p? Yeah, you can yeah. do that. I'm going to go 70p. Trying to edge you. Yeah, you're and paying. Finally, you're paying strategically. Finally, Game Boy game. 50p. 50p, you think? Yeah, 45, 50p. 45p. 45p. Uh, 45? Oh, what are you, you going to stick with? I'm going to go 45. 45 pence. Well, that's interesting, because I'd already in my head gone 40p. Do you want to go 40p? Yeah, I'm going I 40. See. It's a piece of shit. No one wants like, There's no... On each side, but... Are and you no ready for box. the results? I'm ready. I can't wait. Right, we'll do them one at a time because they're three separate videos, so bear with yeah, me. I go. literally can't wait for this. I'll, I'll edit all this together nice and neatly. <laughs> but it's a bit late for tonight, isn't it? Oh. Here we go. This is great. I forgot what I said now. No, he's ready? written it down, don't worry. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Here is the first item. How much did it cost? So, item number one, the horse bear combo. Cost me a grand total of dun, 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 sixty pence. Yes, sixty pence. How is that distributed between the two? I have no idea. This one's forty. This one's twenty. No idea. Uh, but yes, sixty pence. That's sixty pence. That's not point six pounds. That's sixty pence. Oh, right, so 60 pence, so. Uh, who won? I can't remember. It, it Eli was. said 90p, you said 50p. Mr. Biffo gets a between. for that? Between. Come on, Eli. I bet there's two items, you know. I, yeah, just, I can imagine those in a little packy like, bag for a quid. One of those meters whole size. That is not. Nice. You got must have a very loose I meter. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> like a wizard sleeve or something. So it's a betwing for Biffo in that first round. But what will happen in the second? Let's find out about the jackpot machine. Oh, know oh yeah. yeah. Like the jackpot this. machine. Yeah, this is exciting. I liked it a lot as well. I think it's Paul, a class those wires. item. It's making me nervous. Right. So. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait. Up. You've got to I'm put up. it on the thing. I've done you it. see? Oh. Shut up. You've got to go around the back. I've got it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is how much the jackpot thing cost. Here we go. So, item number one. So, item number two, the Mini Mates jackpot. Oh, I didn't win. Oh, no, I did. I won a single one. Yay, victory is ours. Right, how much did this cost? The answer is... 85 pence. Yes, 85 pence. I feel I got a bit of a bargain there because it still works. It's like 44 years old or something. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. I'm going to say it still works. It doesn't work very well. But then it didn't back in the day anyway. Yeah. 
Oh, so I've struck back. 85p was the price. Biffo said 75p. Eli said seven. Biffo said 70p. Eli said 75p. Eli gets the betwing. Betwing. So now it's all sweet, on the line. Sweet, what, 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 wait a minute. I said 70p. Yes. I said 75 because I said the one pound 25 thing. Yes, but remember, I said. Whoever's closest gets the point. But I said 75. Yeah, he said he's, 70. He's he said, I wrote down 70. I said 75. Eli said 75. No, I said 75 because I said what? Right, everyone yeah. in the chat room. You said what? I said 70. I said 75, you oh. fuck. Because I said I would have priced it at one pound I get a between for being within 25p anyway. All right, well, you get between. 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 Two, a twin. Mr. Biffo gets between and Eli gets between for being yeah, look at this second face. closest. God, this is... Just again. No, he gets two for twins. I get two. I won. I was. Why yeah. does Eli get anything? No, he shouldn't get. Because I'm three. close. I'm yeah, within twenty five feet. Always who's closest. It's just Biffo. So far, two for two for yeah. Mr. Biffo. Can Eli at least get something back, Probably or not. he'll be betweenless in a between filled world? Oh, Isn't this um, a thing on Cheat Show that I normally beat Eli? Yeah, it's weird actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're some kind of kryptonite for him. <laughs> uh, it's bizarre, right? Here terrible is, at this bloody game. Here is the third and final one. Here we go. Oh, you've got to Rico this as well. Here we I, go. I, said, I, know, I feel like I went too low. Are you ready? I so here is low. the final item, the Ghostbusters cassette. Let's see what it was priced at. And the final item, number three, the Ricochet re-release of Ghostbusters for the ZX Spectrum without a case. It cost the grand sum of... 10 pence. Yes, it was the cheapest item because it was in a big box of um, loose tapes, um, all of which were music, apart from this, as far as I can tell. Um, there's like 20 of them or so. And it said on it, basically, they're 10p each. And if they don't work, tough tits, you can't bring them back. <laughs> so um, hence the cheapness. So there we are. 10p was the cheapest. Then it was these blighters. And then ultimately, the most expensive was the Mini Mate jackpot. How well did you do? I don't know, I'm recording this before the fact. Obviously. I, I mean, I've not got a bloody time machine. Anyway, I'm going now. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye, Stuart. Bye. Love ya. So, who did get the best points? <laughs> so, it was 10p. Mr. Biffo, you said 40p. Eli said 45. So, it, it's a clean sweep for Mr. Biffo. He is victorious. Eli has been shamed on our 200th episode. I should get a between Once for that. again. You don't get a between I for nothing. I should get a between for the fucking middle one. You're not getting a between for nothing. Well, you, you no, why should you get a fucking between? Because why that's the you? rule. It's the no rule. rule. A pity a between. The normal a rules are between. if you're within 25p either side, you get a between. No. I'm just going I by the normal What does it matter though, Closest. ultimately? Because I would like my own between to you, take away from this. You can't eat betweens. There's a between. 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 Between, oh, between, oh. what? You want a between? I'll give you a between, you, you naughty little lady. You? Yeah. I tell you what. Well played. Do you want me to go again? Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. You can go now. I'm bored. Oh, of you it. presented yourself I'll to me my again. Hands on the smell game. Oh. You got. Right. So how about this? <laughs> Is right. that the only way I could get out under the mic was to be right near his arse? Lucky you. No, not. Right. So. Hang on. Uh, right, ball, as ball a little back. as a little treat, as a little treat, right? Would you like to see an exclusive sneak peek of Ashens and the Polybius heist? Ooh, would you? Yeah. Have right. you seen any footage of it yeah. at all? You've seen a bit. Well, I had to do some ADRing. Yeah. What, so I saw. Those oh, you've bits. seen that footage then. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got an exclusive clip now. Oh, it's a world exclusive on our 200th episode of Eli in. Ashens and the Polybius heist. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Right, I'll Am tell I you what. Something? Just press, there's a button that says Polybius. When I, when yes. I say now, go. Sweden is fish. Bob's your uncle. I think this might be your bag. My heist pants. Really nice colour, man. Thank you. Hey, that was alright, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, an exclusive shot. Oh, it's exclusive. 
I can't believe my eyes. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> yeah. I saw you and Stuart in a scene together. Hey. Acting, that's fun, isn't it? That's good, isn't it? That's good, isn't it? Right, I forgot where my phone is with the plot for the show on. Where's my phone? Well, it's here. No, that's uh, mine. That's yours. Uh, I forgot what, for what we're in doing in the show. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. No, Paul, stop right, parroting so me. We've done. <laughs> we've done. It's so oh, shit. Well, you are so thanks shit. Thanks for joining us on the show. <laughs> How are you? Isn't it? Welcome to Cheap Show, Shut episode up. 200. Right, so, oh, we can have a break now. Ooh. Oh, because boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Boys and Girls and Mrs. Ladies and Gentlemen, we've done a special... Mr. Boys and Girls and Mrs. Ladies and Gentlemen? Yes. Mr. Boys and Girls and Ladies and Gentlemen, ladies, we have done a very special edition of Eli's Country Urban Noodle Kitchen Test Lab, haven't we? We certainly have, Paul. Do you want to prep it a little bit for us? Um, it's a little bit of a journey through the history of instant ramen noodles, guys. And um, just... Uh, Hope you enjoy it, you know. Yeah, well, we hope you enjoy it too. We're going to take a little break and you can watch all Eli's Country Urban Noodle Kitchen. Here Hi, we mate. go. Go. Oh, hello there. Eli Silverman here. Welcome to my Country Urban Noodle Test Lab Kitchen. Yes, that's right. Today on the... Con oh. Today, on the Country Urban Noodle Test Lab Kitchen, I will be taking you on a journey from the very origins of the noodle. The very first instant noodle by Momofuku Andu, all the way on a journey across time and continents. And we end on the version, the very same version of that original chicken flavoured instant noodle, but the Polish version. Smack! Paul! Oh, hello, Mr. Silverman. Come on, Paul. Hello. You'll be joining me in the Country Urban Noodle Test Lab Kitchen today. Are hello, you boys and girls. I am very excited to be in the Urban Test Lab Urban Noodle Country Kitchen today. Uh, I can't wait to go on a time drip journey, not only of flavour, but of time. Anything else you picked up from that intro that's of interest to you today? Not much, really. Fuck no. you! <laughs> come on. Are we ready to go, yeah, boys and girls? Go. Come on, All come right, over. Let's, let's come over here. Hang on. Come over to the country. We'll have a little look at the noodles themselves, shall we? Hang on. I'm doing this. <laughs> come on. All right, I'm zooming in. There we go. Come on over. Come That's... on over into the kitchen. Here we are, Paul. Now, I'm going to take you through both noodles we'll be doing today. You're starting on the cooker now. Do us a favour as well, because I left some of them over there, so you could go and get those. Chuck them over. Right. These were sent to, sent to me by some lovely uh, listener to the pod, Paul. These are a replica. Was that the one we got on the Magical Journey mystery? No, it came in a big box. Yes, do you know who that person is? Chris? <laughs> That was a great job he did, but these, well, obviously, we couldn't eat these because on that uh, picnic we were out and about. We didn't have, a, the camera didn't have a portable camera. So these are a replica of the original noodle that was released by Nissan. And the inventor of the instant noodle, Mamafuku Andu, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, he worked for the Nissan Corporation, right? And this was the product they came out with first: chicken ramen. And this is a mini version of that classic recipe. And this is a miniature retro version. I'll just open them now and have a little. Open look. it. Because we've read the back, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, there's a little stick. You get a sticker with it. Look at this. I was not aware of that. Look at that stickers. That's a nice touch because you can stick them on. I don't know. School book. A record sleeve. So maybe these are actually not just a pencil case. Do you think these are possibly like for school lunches? Like a pack lunch for kids? Yeah, and you just get some hot water off the teacher or whatever. Yeah, maybe. I can't sit on this chair. It's too long. Could you stop trying to draw focus, please, from the It's noodles? just hard because you're so small and you frame that way. So I'm just trying to get in. I'm doing a bit of a split here, aren't I? Ten minutes is... Video is meant to be. It feels longer already, <laughs> doesn't it? Come on. Right, these are but these are a replica of the original flavour. Chicken, spelt with an I and not an E. Chicken ramen were the original ones. Now I've I've 
thought that he, a lot of things like Wikipedia, I think, says that cup noodles were the first one, but I think these were in fact the first one, which would make sense. The innovation of the cup came after just the basic innovation of the noodle in the pack. Do you see what I mean? So we'll be tasting those. Now, journey across the decades where the noodle overtakes the whole world and you end up with Nissin Snack. Do you want to take it over, Paul? Whoa, extreme close-up. Nissin Smack. Smack. Now, this is a Polish version, and it's the same thing, isn't it? It's now, a chicken-flavoured noodle. Eli. In soup. When you said... These oh. are both soup-based noodles, by the way. Shh, shh, shh. The original... The original version of the instant ramen was a ramen in soup-based noodle. And that's what we're talking about today. None of these stir-fried options. You know, your multi-packer, drain the water off through a, through a, a mesh built into my spout options. No. This is the basic one-pack of powder, one pack of noodles, one pack of pure joy and in innovation in the food industry. Now, now, Eli, when you said today on the Country Urban Noodle Kitchen Test Lab that you'd be boiling up some smack, uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were talking about drugs. No, as you know, Paul, I prefer stimulants. Right, so... And weed. Well, so I've got an onion. Now, why have we got an onion? Okay, that's good because, Paul, we did a little Google Translate, didn't we, we did. on, the, on the back of this uh, incident, and what was, tell me, they suggested one pimping item. They said, why not add green onions? Green onions, which is the international phrase meaning spring onions or scallions. Yes. And we have, I think, by this bit of detective work me and you have done here, Paul, yeah. we've identified the original pimping ingredient, the primordial pimp ingredient for an instant noodle, which is a spring onion, and I've always maintained this. It is the Rosetta Stone of pimping a snack, isn't it? It certainly is, and we will be finely chopping this onion and we will have a little sprinkle in both of these chicken ramen, just to, because it's, it's what Mr. Ando would have uh, fucking wanted, isn't what, it? What was it? Yes, yeah, so he must have said, what are you going to put on the back of this? Would you stop trying to turn the cooker on? Hello, now move the camera closer, we'll go, let's, let's, uh, we'll, let's cook these noodles. We'll cook the noodles and, now. And you can see the process. Wouldn't that be fun? Come on, get it over here, you duzzock. Come on, then. Come on, come on. Okay, come on. I tell you what, Paul, I need you to fill this uh, kettle for me. All right, uh, not all the, all the way, just most of the way, yeah. All right, good. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll get on with chopping this onion. Also, once you've done that, please bring. Can you grab my wok from the rack? Wok from the rack. Wok from the rack. Wok from the rack. Look, I got it. It's really hard to do with one hand. Stick it on the hob. There you go, hob. Very good, pass me the kettle. Kettle. There's not much uh, preparation for these. It's uh, very simple. And of course that is what a noodle should be. It's a simple food for eating quickly. I'm just finely chopping these scallions, green onions or spring onions, call them what you will. But we know now, if you want to pimp something correctly, you've got, to, you've got to at least consider a green onion, don't you? You've got to have a pretty good fucking reason not to put a spring onion in your noodle, don't you? Talk to the camera, what? I don't care. Talk to this bit. I'm not talking to them. Talk, I don't, well, don't talk to me, because I don't care. <laughs> what the fuck? I won't talk to fucking anyone if you're going to make it a fucking issue. It's just weird when you look off camera when you're talking to the audience. It's just bad. Oh, what? Bad what? Hey. Am I not here with you now, Paul? Look, look, what do you mean, bad? Fuck you! you... <laughs> Stop looking at me! Fuck you! You see, it seems like I'm talking to them. Come on. Cunt. No, you can say fuck you to me, but you can't say fuck, fuck you. you to you. Fuck you! God almighty. Excuse me! You really angered me with your shit today. I've done the onion. Better cut, because we've got fuck all to do now. Right? <laughs> all right. I'm going to go into your back. I hate this segment of the show. I hate it. Oh, it's all, what's all this? I've just got to wash up the noodle bowl. It's 
not a euphemism. Oh, kettle's boiled. OK, we're almost there now. We need to coordinate this to get both noodles ready at the same time, Paul. Right. Because this, I believe, looking at the um, helpful artists always do this, by the way. Yeah. Or because you don't know what language the person who's eating your instant noodles understands. No. So you need handy things. What would you say this... Look, it says smack on it as well. Good, Nice detail in uh, these pictures. Pour into a bowl of water and then treat it like a soup. Yes, but... Oh, Whoa, that's exactly what it so says. Pour it into a bowl of water. Hand me a measuring jug. We're going to do, do this to the book. It says, I believe, on this, how many millimetres of water. You can see down there, 400. We're going get, to get, get it in the wok and get 400. So turn the heat on. Yeah. Which one it's the, is the far one. one. Milliliters here. 400 is there. Go up to the line. And a little bit for the angels. A little bit more for the angels there, Paul, because it is... I'm boiling it in a quite... With a, in a wok, which has a very... Um, <sighs> well, I don't want to say wide opening. It, it, has, <laughs> it does have a wide opening. It has a wide top. Yeah. Which means more evaporation is allowed to occur. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you just put a little bit more than the 400 required because it starts boiling off almost immediately. See what I mean? You'll see what I mean in the noodle. Now I need you to do timing on this. All right, did you say that this is six years out of date? I haven't said that yet, no. Let's see where the best before is. Yeah, not six years. This is uh, third March 2018 this went out of date. No, it's not too bad. I'm sure it'll be fine, Paul. Now, I've agreed, we've both agreed, if I find any form of life, fungal or otherwise, Spores, inside this, or fungus, then we're not eating we're it. We're not doing I'm it. I'm so sure that's not going to happen. In fact, that moment is coming now. Look, we're already losing water. Come on. Through the wide opening of this wok hole. There's no bad huff coming off the noodles. I think you'll agree. You'll put it in my face. Huff the fucking noodle! Yeah, but you stuck it in my eye. I'm sorry. Sorry I did that, Paul. Yeah. Let's not have a fight today, OK? Very lonely. <laughs> There's oh, a big pack. Yeah. As no, I, you, you didn't break it up. No, what I like to do is get it soft and then it comes pulled apart with a knife. I'll let you do that, Paul. Yeah? I don't want it, I'm filming. Paul, and I want you need to time three minutes from now. Alright. On this noodle, okay? Right, it's at ten past, it'll be ready. And then what does it say? I add it you see, I disagree fundamentally. They say I should add the flavouring now, but I feel that that will ruin it somehow. I add it just after before I'm going to take it out. You might want to flip that though, right? No, I will. Break, I have asked you to do something for me, which is to break and maintain the, the noodle. The, no, I'm not doing it. I'm filming. What are you doing? Absolutely not. I'm preparing the fucking noodles, right? Fucking As Jamie you... Oliver or Gordon Kennedy. What's the other one? Who's the uh, other one? Who goes, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. I know. Hard no, on Ramsay. If you can see, are you even timing this? I yes. asked you to time it. We've done one minute. OK. As you can see, it's softened right. up there. Now, this is much easier for me to break it up without destroying the integrity of the noodle itself. Do you see me? Because you want to get the long strands in. Look at this shit I do for you. I do for you. Me or the audience? You. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Right. Meanwhile... Let's uh, prepare our own individual little original cup noodles, Paul. Now, these have been damaged in transit somewhat. Oh, look! Do you know what? What? These have looked like they've been done in stock. There is no sachet in these many ones. Oh, and You I... see they're very yellow. Like, this is because they're putting the flavour in instead of putting it in the sachet, because it's a mini. <laughs> Instead of putting it in a sachet, because it's a mini, they put the actual flavour imbued it into the noodle. One minute left on this. OK, which is similar to Mama brand noodles from Thailand. Right. They have flavour packs, but they will also have a sort of stock mm -hmm. flavour in the right. noodle. But when I first saw these, these looked like those noodle snacks a bit. You know, that yeah. you eat, but I think they, what they've done is they... OK, so I'm boiling the kettle again. 
and I'm, we're just going to. Oh, that's that's got the integrity as much. See, and it's designed. You can see in a round shape. Yeah. To in order to fit nicely into a round yeah, mug. Yeah. Because a square one would be ridiculous. Well, that's what uh, that, I think. That's ready. we're ready to go, aren't we? With that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So yes. let's. Oh, everything's. Everything's going now. It's just boiled. Let's. Uh, Shall I cancel and we'll cancel filming and we'll come back when everything's prepared? Yeah. Right, let's do that then. Zoom into the shirt. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm looking in the right place now and how good it is to see you. Fuck off. We're, welcome back to the Country Urban Noodle te Test Kitchen, Test Lab Kitchen. All the noodles are prepared. I simply have to. Oh, I missed the fork. What have you got for me today? I missed the fork. I am just going to. I have chopped my spring onions there. I'm adding them to oh. the cup noodle mini. Can you f honestly, Paul? Hello, I'm Mr. Four. I'm Mr. Fucking Big Blade. Who wins? Is that a knife? I'll show you a fucking knife. All right, well, no, don't be like that. I'm exactly, that. don't be like that. Oh, I'm Mr. Spoon. <laughs> Mr. Spoon. That's, why is that funny? It's not funny. It's funny You're to ruining me. this for me. Here's your noodle. All right. Give me that. So I'm going to start with the. Um, do Start with the be at the beginning, Paul, and this is the original noodle flavour, recreated, and what? Oh, I can't quite get it in shot. The smell. Too hot. Tip it down. You need to look at this. They need to see this. All right. See then. what it looks like in the mug. There we go. There you go. It's a, it's a clear broth. Yeah. None of this uh, super noodle sort of bullshit. Yeah. So. What's the half you're getting on that, Paul, though? Uh, it's a very kind of umami-ish kind of soy. Yeah. Uh, slightly chickeny, but not it's too very, much. It's very, yeah, it's very slightly chickeny. Okay, I'm going to go for... You don't have to use your... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can... T but, yeah. What? Because you're going to taste your, the big noodle with that. It doesn't matter. It does matter. I don't want your mouth, Joe. Well, then you eat that, because that's years old and I don't want it anyway. You have to I fucking just, try the years old one. You don't have to. You do. Are you part of this, this or not? I'm doing this bit. I'm going to get you a new... Oh, yes. oh. What's the broth like? It's very comforting, very warm, lovely flavour. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And the noodle. I'm going to have a bit of noodle with it now. Look at this. Oh. They're very small, aren't they? They're well, that's perfect for a lunchbox or whatever. But they're very... The actual width of the noodle, I don't know if you can pick up on this, mm. the actual... Size, as in the sort of width of the noodle, is smaller than you'd normally get. Do you know what I mean? They're mm. mini in every way. It's nice. that attention to detail again. You know, mm. this is very satisfying. Nice. Oh, yeah. Right, that's nice. That's, that's good. good. Now let's try the old one. Now I'll try the broth. I haven't done that anything with this. Try the, try the broth. Try the broth on the on the Polish version. Polish smack. Uh, really? It tastes of nothing. No, it's because you didn't. It hadn't get another spoon. I don't care. It hadn't um, diluted properly, been mixed properly. So the smack juice. What's the smack juice like? Is that different? That. Is it different? No, yeah. it's chilly almost in it. It's got a weird chilly feeling to it, which I'm not a big fan of, ladies and gentlemen. Show the bowl. Yeah, it definitely has. It has a. Uh, it's hotter. It's hotter, definitely. I actually prefer that. That's really? got more flavour. It's a more rich. I think the flavour. No, I think that the, that's that heat is is. I mean, it has a bit of chilli more to it than it, it does is. have a bit of chilli. And you can see these are rounder noodles. They're not like ribbon, which no. those were. I like these them. are rounder and these are sort of more standard size as well. You can see those have got big girth. I like the comfortness of this. That just feels a little bit abrasive to me. Oh, that's good. The smack is good, man. Don't say that on t telly. Yes. We're not on telly yet, Paul. Yeah? Maybe next year. Maybe one day we'll be millionaires. But until then... But you, you don't like the broth on this? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Well, thank you for joining us on the Eli's... Country Urban Noodle Test Kitchen Test Lab well, Kitchen Wank Box. I'll try again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let that out. You cut there and then I come into the next um, um, yeah. action. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Eli's Country Urban Noodle Test Lab Wank Kitchen. Box. Again. Come sock. 
Eli's we're gonna, Crunchy Crunchy Noodle. We tasted a, a version of the first noodle ever to exist. 8 out of 10. And we also tasted Six basically the Polish version. Only six. Are you all nuts? You're just trying to. I'm not. It's not I'll it's tell you. Paul is, then. Paul is wrong about this noodle. And it's basically very similar, but with a more nuanced and richer flavour packet, which obviously is what happens over the years. The technology gets better. And I think he's dismissed this noodle just because it's a bit out of date. I'm telling you what. That doesn't help. I tell you what, this noodle is delicious. This and smack noodle. Mm. So thank you for joining us on Eli's Crunchy Sticky Wank Box Noodle so Test Sock. The broth is great. The broth is great. Salty. What, what, what more can you ask for? No, thanks guys, and I hope the rest of the show goes all right. Back to the studio, oh. Paul and Eli. <laughs> what do you want? I don't want anything Here's from you. Do, you. do you want a kiss? I do We haven't want a kissed kiss. on camera. Do you want to kiss me? Absolutely not. I, uh, oh, come on, mate. There's no reason at all. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Here's to another 200, to 200. episodes. Oh, and I missed Oh, the... no, look at my normal sized um, cup. Hey, look you can play beer pong with that. Sized cup. Look yeah. at it. Oh, oh, joke! Oh, oh! It's an optical effect! You could play beer pong with dwarves. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said dwarves. I'm a man who's quite small. And <laughs> you are. Didn't, didn't you once say, uh, someone said, what a tiny man? They did. Oh. That was when I used to do Tales from the Dance Floor, where I used to DJ. And Fair I enough. had little stories. You DJ much these days. <laughs> are you a wanker? Yeah, oh, you wanker. Are you a horrible you a, man? You fucking COVID shaming me. Anyway, it is now time for our big finale of the show. Why? It is Ganon's Golden Games. Yeah, 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 Ganon, Ganon, Ganon. Uh, hang on, hang on. Ganon. Hang on. What? It's fucking Ash again. Go, 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 go. go. We're nearly done. What do you want? Lovely video there. Yes, thank you. How's he? I enjoyed hearing it. Yeah, you're probably I'm watching it online. What? I'm outside. I got here. I told you I would. I bought my skateboard. It's a nice one. He's not. You're not outside. Fuck, Fuck off. Yes, I am. You just need to come and open this gate. Let me up the side into the studio and I'll come in, I'll join in the grand finale. No, 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 no. Then don't worry about it because I'm not opening the gates so you won't be able to get in, so just go home. Look, I might be a bit poorly, but I can get over a bloody gate. Is, this, do... is this helping anything? I don't know what to say. Right. Go if... He's poisoned you, Eli. Oh, He's Ash. you against me. No, Ash, but there's a time and a place, you know, for grievances and... It's it's really inappropriate. I'm be entering, whether you like it or not. What's the fans want it, I should imagine. Oh, fuck no, off. they don't you know want what? any just, more just Whatever, entering. go home, Ash, go home. Fuck off. <sighs> Gannon's Golden Games. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> He's taken the wind out of it somehow. Oh, he couldn't. I'll just go all about it. Who are we? He's Gannon's Golden Games. Gannon's Golden Games. It's Ganon's Golden Games. It's Ganon's Golden Games. Yes, it is. It's Ganon's Golden Games. And now we are going to play an edition of that I, I wanted to bring back. Yeah, it's uh, a, few, uh, a while ago, we did an episode with Ashens and we played a game called... Uh, what was it's it Ganon's called? It's Ganon's Golden Games. It's Ganon's Golden Games. I'll kill you. <laughs> and I'll tear the skin from your oh, body. I'm helping. And I'll wear your skin and then make disgusting pornography. <laughs> In your skin, well, no and then give you the skin it. back, no and then release the pornography no one, online. They'll all and be then crying. everyone think Eli's a dirty man. No, they won't. They'll be crying because they'll I'll think be you're dirty. a dirty man. You'd be in jail. You're a dirty man. Okay, go, go. Yeah, this guy's got games. So we're gonna play. What's that smell? It's yeah. A, but I'm not gonna play it. Unfortunately, Mr. Biffo has once again been required to sit on this seat and play. What's that smell? What's that smell? Poo wall, poo wall, what's that smell? Gaz, go and gaz. What's that smell? I'm glad you're coming Come on. over here. Because I've got a little someone. I'm going to the side. A little Mike. someone oh, here. Oh, we start with the smells. Be glad to see oh. you. Who is it? It's Keith, everybody. It's Keith. I've kept what's, him. You moved to Mike. You, he used to. Keith's oh. going to see his old daddy, basically. Oh, God. Let's have a go. Let's oh, have a oh, he's oh, got. Do you want a half of yeah, I'm curious because you've it's, been telling me that it's a bit. Um, it's musty but sharp. It's got vinegariness. Yes. Is it? 
Oh, no. Don't. Actually, it's quite comforting. <laughs> How is that? Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's not all like bad. Comforting. It's not that bad. It's like an old pillow. Yes, or something like it's that. Like it's my really dusty. It's like my nan's pillow. <clears throat> Keith, he has a musty hole. Oh. Keith, his little witch's hole. Keith, you keep it nice and clean. Keith, you talk to me in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Can I smell Keith? Keith is, yeah. It's no, Keith. Please don't cross Keith. It. Can I smell his witch hole? Yes, but oh. that's, the, that's the power power hub. Oh, you're right. Eli, show to the camera. Do you know what? There is something okay. quite... Um, Horrible. Have you tried those weird Polish snacks that look? Oh like yeah, like those cheese ball things. The, yeah, or yeah. The, 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 like packaging yes. uh, noodles. You're all horrible. Does that take it? That I like I that. I'll it. be honest. I like Keith. Here well. comes Keith, everybody. Hello, wave him. There he is. Yeah. And look, there's his old. It's my Ooh, son. Ah! <laughs> That's where the dream messages come out. <laughs> my son had a big hole. busty hole. Yeah. From the wish. Why the mic? Oh, yeah. sorry, this everybody. Why has the mic gone very sweet? I don't know why they've gone Keith, loose. I'm going to put you back, ah. mate. That's annoying. I'm putting Keith back. He can't go again. No, I had that thing that I used to say. It's going to go again, it's going to go again. Here I am, there you are, going to go again. Oh, it's look, like that. It's going to kill you. No, come, come on, kill you. come on, mate. You stop doing that, it's going to cause a horrible <laughs> noise on the microphone. Leave it. Just behave. You got to go again. Well, go, go, go. gave me this. Oh, God. My normal right. size cup. Now look what you've done, you stupid man. Stop it. Right. You're running around like a lunatic. We're playing. You spill. We're playing what's that yeah. smell, right? I have got a bunch of smells. I'm going to rub them. Laugh. This, is where, get them under your this nose. is where I get my revenge, nah, mate. Nah. I'm going to it, fucking name that old, smell. I'm an old factory powerhouse. Wizard. Really? <laughs> no. Tell me about a smell that you identified. Pestle. Just like... <laughs> That's an easy one. All right. Um, Keith. Keith's hole. Well, look, I could smell Keith out from a million paces. All right, let me see if I can smell his jaw. <laughs> yep. Go on, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think Keith should be out for this. Here are the rules. Right, the rules are the oh, same. We have to eat beans. I am going to scratch the this. card and hold it under your nose. You'll both have to sniff it, and then after that, you'll give me what you think it is. We'll take turns on who gets the first guess. Whoever gets closest wins the point. Whoever doesn't, arbitrarily, will get one of these new Double Dare Bean games. There are flavours such as cola or dog food. Oh, that's an old one. Strawberry yeah. or chili. That's oh, a new that's one. That's a new one. I'll eat. That's easy. That's fine. Tropical fine. or sardine? Ooh. Lemon or garbage? <laughs> yeah, garbage. Garbage. Bubble that's, gum yeah. or mouthwash? Which is mouth what you have this is a mouthwash. A mouthwash. Is that when <laughs> there's a ghost in your <laughs> is that, mouth? Is that you? Someone? Is that when apple. there's going to be a burglary in your mouth? <laughs> or watermelon <laughs> or cabbage? You've had a few pipes in your yeah. mouth, haven't you, Paul? Haven't you? <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> quite fucking finished being <laughs> right i hope people get that reference <laughs> so i will i will spin the beans when it's yeah, okay time. fair right, enough are you ready for your first smell who would I, like to go first i said so i would i'm happy to go first or second so you can go first then. okay right. okay right, birds um, what the cognac yeah oh baby there we go here is your first smell i'm gonna rub the card here we go rubbing the card Rub in the He's card. Rubbing the card. We rub can in see the card. It. Yeah, give me the card. And sniff it. Rub the oh. card on camera. No one knows you're rubbing the card. I'll do it in a minute. Right. Is the card going to be reduced by oh. the time it gets to me? No, I'm rubbing it again fresh. You fresh rubbage. Is that long enough? Sniff it. Yeah. Which bit? The top bit. Right. Sniff. Sniff. I know what it sniff. is. Sniff. Sniff. You've had a sniff. Give it back. I'm not sure. Give him another go. Give him another no, scratch. No, there's no enough sniff. Otherwise, this game will go on forever. I know exactly right. what that was. I'll go to Eli first then. What did you think that the first one was? Dill pickles. Pickle. What do you think it was, Mr. Biffo? Yeah, I was going to say gherkins. Gherkins. Stroke dill, which are the same thing. I'm going to write gherkins. Just my bets. Just so. No, don't. If that comes up as dill, it's probably an American game. It is. And that's why the answer's pickles. And Eli gets the point and Biffo gets the bean. Oh. Oh. Fuck off. Look at that. So, oh, pickle point. It's the we same thing. We should write thing. it down. This no, doesn't sound like a this sidewalk. Guy, listen. Oh, this guy, I, man. I call time on this Gannon Golden game no. because we need to write our answers down, Paul. 
we need to write our answers down. It doesn't make yeah. any sense. I could have just copied yeah, what Eli exactly. said. All right, well, then we've got to figure that out now. I've only got one pen. Fine. Give me a piece of paper. We've got one pen. What? We'll paper. share it. We'll yeah. share. It's hard. Yeah, I've got another page. Yeah, I have that. Share the pen. The pen's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay, we're Pop ready now. Pop we're ready. Up. We will write down Pop our hold. answers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It could be a new thing. Yeah. Paper man. This is my new thing. Paper oh, ghost. Oh, paper ghost. <laughs> here is... Here is Snow <laughs> Number Two. <laughs> ready? <laughs> here is Smell Number Two. All right. Biffo gets it first. Okay. okay. Scratching it. Sniff that. Oh. Oh. Don't keep it to I'm yourself. Getting a whiff of it from here. Here we go. Pass it mm. to Eli. Yeah, I've got a good. You can write it down. I haven't With got a pen. pen. Oh. oh, what is that? Oh, what yeah, is no, that no, smell? No, I know. No. You do. Yeah. Give us the card. All right. Write down your smell. Are you ready? Oh, he's writing it down. Just so you know, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, he's writing it down. Pass the pen to Eli, please. Mm. And Eli is now writing his answer down, which will be four. Oh, look at my new character, Paper Ghost. <laughs> right. I'm trying not to encourage that, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Biffo, what did you write as your answer? Burger, cheese or otherwise. Burger, he writes. So, Eli, what did you say? Garlic. Garlic. The answer is... Eli's right, isn't he? Garlic. Oh, Bullshit. so it's a bean for Biffo. Oh, the page has gone over here. Right. I love this smell game. I'm I didn't get a bean you. on I'm the last round. I'm oh, spinning the wheel. Because there was such controversy, I backed out of a bean. Oh, but... <laughs> here we go. I spinny now. I love a smell. Here we go. I love a smell, mate. I'm I love still a smell smelling off. that. Yeah, you were right. Garlic. As soon as you said it, it was like I've made a terrible... It is watermelon or cabbage. You have to yeah. sort of... Watermelon or cabbage, a green one, pick one. Oh, I'm interested, because cabbage might be a nice. Might cabbage be, is know. one of my least favourite things. Really are. Right. I do like red cabbage. You've got, some, a lot. you've got something to wash it down with yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Bean, bean. What is it? Cabbage or watermelon? Watermelon. Oh, oh. this happened last time, but every <laughs> bean he had was lovely. I've got <laughs> dill pickle and garlic fingers. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. I'm still smelling the garlic yeah, in it's, mine. It's, Next it's card. It's a very strong odour, isn't it? Here we go. Next card. Scratching it now. I'm scratching it. Eli gets to smell first this time. Yeah. Bring it to me. Here we go. Pass it off. Oh, oh it's a bad smell. Sniff it again. <laughs> I'm hard. I'm not. I'm not hard. So. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> He's hard. Oh, but what uh, is it? But what is it? Here's the pen, Eli. Have a go. What do you think that is? God, you're going to pass out if you keep doing it that way. It reminds me of something. Yeah, the smell that's on the card. Can you just scrap it, scrap it for him? I'll give, a, it. Another, I'll give you another scrappage. Give it here. Yeah, I've, well, it reminds me of the Yorvik Centre in York. We'll put that down there. Oh, it might oh. be the answer. <laughs> it might be the answer. It smells like the Yorvik Centre. All right, we'll write that down. Write down what you think it is. There you go. No, because the Yorvik Centre was made up of different smells. It's an unpleasant smell. Right. Are these any of these unpleasant? They're yeah. all unpleasant. Some of them could be unpleasant, yes. Yeah. Or, they, no, they're all unpleasant. I've picked out all the unpleasant ones. <laughs> so they're all going to be horrible. I, I like gherkins. Gherkins right. yeah, smell What's wrong with gherkins? Oh, all garlic. All garlic. They're not unpleasant, you weirdo. Food stuff, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Have you both You're having your both your wives ganging up on you here. Have you both <laughs> written down your answers? I've written down my answer. Right, in that case, it was you first, wasn't it, last time? So I'll do Mr. Biffo I've now. written garbage. Right, so he writes garbage. That's what a good have you guess. Written? Good guess. Well, I thought it was yeah. a nappy, like a full nappy. Nappy. Let's have a look on the card. You could, you could catch up here, because I don't like the bad those bad ones. It is simply fart. Oh, that's bullshit. Fart. So, that didn't smell like anyone's yeah. fart. If someone did a fart like that, I'd be like, off to the doctors. It's like, off to the doctors. You're both getting a bean. You need that's a proper Vikings smell. Eli, like. Vikings. Flick, flick the bean. In the Yorvik Centre in York. Flick the bean. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh it's oh. either dog food or cola. Pick one. Pick one. The dog food one's all right. I kind of like it. I've got nothing to wash Spin this the bean. With. Flick it. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's lemon or, go uh, lemon or garbage. That was my guess. Yeah. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. 
I can smell dog food on this. Already. Eat it. Eat it now. Eat it now. Eat it's it dog. now. No, Kyla. <laughs> oh, fuck off. What have you got, Mr. Biffo? Lemon. lemon. How is it you're only getting right? Nice, nice ones. It's quite nice, that one. Next. Next smell. Here we go. Another bad smell, isn't it's it? Another bad smell. Oh, I'm, rubbing the, I'm rubbing it. I don't want to. Biffo first this time. Oh. Biffo first this time. <laughs> He's having a puff. He's really huffing hard. He's huffing too hard. I, said, I told you my nose isn't very good. No. Oh, God. That's where you win the game, isn't it? Right, pass it on. There's a pen to write down your answer. How is it not good? like that? They smell fine. <laughs> they all smell fine. Oh. Uh. Right. right I've Give us another rub. I want Purple another pen. rub on it. I want it for you now. I want another <laughs> rub on it. Oh, why? You hate it so much. I rub my knob. I know that. Right, okay, cool. Oh. Write down your answer now, I don't please. like how definite you are with these. Oh, God. Right, come on. Yeah, I've got mine. It's a guess. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just guessing at the sort of things that it might be. Do you need to say first? Uh, it is you this time. Yeah, give me the pen, please. I'd say burnt rubber, or I will accept rubber. So you're going to say rubber. <laughs> right? Burnt rubber. I think it's burnt rubber. Biffo, what do you say? Body odour. B-O. The answer is... Cheese. Ah, oh, this so is wrong. shit. What a load of shit. So it's rubbish. It's 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 like it's 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 like it's Fuck all. Gannon's choice. Bullshit. Here we go. Gannon's choice. It's Here not we your go. choice. You're doing it right. It is. Green, garbage or... Uh, no, yeah. Garbage or... Cabbage or watermelon. I don't care. Right, here we go. Next. That is cabbage, though. Why <laughs> My uh, turn. You got I need spitty. I need spitty. <laughs> no, no, eat it. Oh, uh, mouthwash uh, or oh, oh, mouthwash is bubble gum. That's just I nasty. need spitty. I need spitty. <laughs> Double gum. In that glass, that empty glass right there. I need that now. <laughs> so you got the nice one again. No, I've got mouthwash, but it's quite nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mouthwash is quite nice. Just I mean, we do it every morning. Yes. It's like anything you put it's in like, your mouth. Oh, what nice. do you want? Bubblegum, which is nice, or mouthwash, which is also, also refreshing. Nice. Yeah. Happy now? Do you know what isn't nice? What? The cabbage. The cabbage one. Yeah. Really not. Uh, cabbage smell is the worst. Oh, uh, that's what they've gone for, that essence of it. I'm curious. You see, I want There's to try all the There's four more bad left, oh. but you can pick one each. We'll do two more. So, one Bifo, each. You can pick one. That one, give it here. Why can't I rub it? Because you just picked it. Shut up. <sighs> right, let me rub my own. Right, here we go. I'm going to rub it. Now, here's the next card. Oh. Here we go. Rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it like rubbing this. It just like that. Rub that. Oh, smell that. Smell that. Oh, Christ. Oh, I've got this taste oh, that's of a cabbage in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's turn. That's a bad one. I might have to have a little turn for the worst My here. paper's gone, Paul. Oh! That's bad, <laughs> isn't it? That's strong. Right on that. Oh! Any ideas what you think that might be, Eli? Oh! I've got an idea. I don't have to write it down. I've got it. All right. In that case, I'll go with you first. <laughs> Diarrhea. Diarrhea? <laughs> no. What do you think it was? Burn rubber. No. The answer is bad breath. <laughs> what? They're all getting mixed up in the box, Spin mate. The yeah. I can't the do this anymore. Spin the bean. I thought there'd be some nice smells. Spill I'm the bean. I'm, I'm engulfed. I'm engulfed. Cabbage again. Oh, I'm bad smell. I'm engulfed in a cabbage mouth. Bad smell. Spin it. Cabbage mouth. Spin it. What are the choices here, Paul? Cabbage or watermelon? I, I'm getting cabbage. Yeah, yeah. You are, mate. <laughs> you are, mate. Yeah. You fucking are. Oh, oh it's cabbage. Got lemon or garbage? No, I don't want it. Have it. Lemon or garbage? Well, can we wrap this show up? I'm one bomb. more. We've got one more card to do. Lemon or garbage, Eli? Lemon or garbage? Lemon. Oh, right, thank Eli. God. Do you want card number oh, one, thank God. two, <laughs> so or three? So bad. The cabbage is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what fucking card. Pick the card you want. The middle one. Middle one. Right. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Final card. Oh. Ugh. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's a cheeky number. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? I do, because I have to know the answer, don't I? It's cheeky as in it sparks again. Smell it. What's that? 
What is that stench? Jorvik Centre. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you in the Jorvik Centre? <laughs> we'll never know. Really? <laughs> what do you what think that is? Viking touch me. What do you think that is? I'm not sure. Come on. No idea. Well, oh, I'm guess. just writing something. I think that's like burnt rubber. I said that on the last one. I know, but I think that one is. Right, what is that? Yeah. Burnt rubber. Uh. Right, you say burnt rubber, what do you say this time? Piss. Piss. The answer is... Gasoline, oh, apparently. Oh, yeah. These are supposed to be nasty ones. Yeah. The nasty ones aren't very accurate. Right, in that case... I don't know. It's been time for your bug. No, no. no. And it's Gannon Spin. No. What's Eli going to get this time? Oh, it's going to be sardine and tropical. Oh, there God, you go. I that can't. one. A tropical. Tropical or sardine. Pick one. These ones. <laughs> yeah, that one. Hold off, don't eat it yet. Still got the cabbage. All right, here we go. Maybe and don't want a spin for Mr. Bits. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be what? I'm smelling the Jorvik Centre now. Oh, you've got, li you've got the same one. Oh. So it's either sardines or... Oh, I like sardines to eat. Or tropical. I know, but it's not going to be like that. Sardines be, or tropical? It, yeah, you know. Eat them. Eat the bean now. I'm still smelling the last card. I smell the cards. I Good. smell the cards. I all the... It goes up there. Yeah. Eat it. Eat the bean. Oh, tropical. Oh, tropical. What have you got? Oh, no, actually. No, sardine. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that's yeah. not so good, is it? Oh, that's really bad. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I don't like that. Yay. No, no. I do not like that. Sit down. Oh, I have to have a mouthwash. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'll sit down in this place. Well, I think that's Welcome been... to Digitizer, everyone. Welcome <laughs> to Digitizer. Digitizer. <laughs> What are we talking about on the show today? Uh, they're talking about some old tat. Tat. Look, um, look at that. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh God, he yeah, did with the hand. Yeah, didn't I? Silverman. Uh, look, I found some fucking hot sauce, everyone. They've got some Tabasco here. Should we just drink some? Shut up. No. It's time, look, <laughs> it's, just drink some. It's, time, it's time to wrap up the show. So can you piss off? You piss off and get on the yeah. camera. Right. Silverman, are you ready? We've got to wrap this up now. We've got a big closing number to no, do. No, What's the bye number? Bye, everyone. Wait there, so we've got to sort... What's the number? What? We've got to that, that big song number we've got to do. Remember, we, I wrote that song for us to do. I haven't even touched me booze all night because I've been too busy being a tinker. That's fun, isn't it? What song? Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't even answer, man. Let's just, just stop the show. Let's just get to the end of the show and then we can deal with that. Let's go call back. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. What do you want? We're nearly done. The show's over. Go home. You're wrapping up now, are you? Yes, we're wrapping up now. Gonna have to come out. Admittedly, I couldn't get over the, the fence. You were right. However, can't stay in there all night, can you? Huh? Well, you... Biffo, Biffo, will you just go check the door, please? Yeah, I'm off. See? See if he's there. All right? Ash, will you fucking go away, all right? Because there's there's absolutely no need for you to be here tonight. So go home, you fucking wanker! He's on door. Yeah, Ash! Ash, fuck off, mate. What's he You're doing? Not wanted. Oh, my fruit! What's he doing? Oh, Ash, fruit! No, you're not trying to scare me. Why are you wearing that social distancing mask thing? Fuck. Ash, what are you doing this. with that? Put that down. No. What's just, going on? It's going. It's going a bit far. You sort that out. What the? It's, 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 no, Ash. Come on. It's not. Wait, wait, wait! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! What the fuck you doing? What's going on? Get, wait, get him out. Get him out. Keep him outside. Keep him outside. Get, go away, mate. Go away. There's no need. There's no go away. What have you done? With Biffo's on the floor. Uh, Mate, call the. Uh, keep him out. Where's keep my phone, out. though? I can't keep him out. The door is pushing against it. We've got to get the police to come Mate, down the other side. Call the something, then, because right now I'm holding the door back, alright? Leave it. Uh, Leave it right now. He's fucking doing it. Right, go 
He's coming! He's coming! Fucking hell! Stop him! Oh no, Shrift! Stop him! No, stop him! Ah! No. Ah! No! God damn, do it! Oh! Oh! God. Paul! Ah! 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 Paul! Ah!